Cancers, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is not a horoscope. This is an energy reading. So Cancerian energy, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, whatever cancer influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies. Even if you're applying it outside of yourself because you're dealing with a cancer. We start here with an oracle card reading and then I extend this reading with a full tarot card spread that goes in depth and hashes out specifics and gets to the nitty gritty and includes a full romantic interpretation of the reading as well. Um, if you are curious about uh, like a, want a romance right away, I do a weekly romantic tarot, which I'll attach above so you can take check that out as well. Um, so there's no, no dates on the videos anymore. I stopped doing that because I've realized people don't care. <laughs> Um, but I do make a Cancerian specific video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and then you'll get notified as soon as I upload all your favorite content. You ready? Let's go. Cancer, I'm feeling good today and I'm not even trying to figure out why. You want to know why? Because I do. And I'm pretty good with that. I've kind of settled on, I don't need an explanation. <sighs> Crowning your reading. So what's going on? Let's check out this energy. Mm. We're, what, cancers, we are slipping out the back. <laughs> what's going on? We're just like, nope, over here. Well, that's really interesting. Um, lots of reversal energy too. Let's see if we can get a crowning card. Something done did flip and then it's like, nope. Cancerians. Got your tail in the air and you're wagging it around. Got your tail in the air and you're wagging it around. That's kind of, it's almost like you're being coy. Ooh la la, bone appetite. Just kidding, I'm talking about turtles. We're talking about turtles here and this is your energy. So it's wonderful that you're sort of self-consumed or happy because this is an energy of contentment. It's, for me, um, turtle energy is very like the king of cups. He is solid, he is happy. He knows that he is, you know, that his emotions are valuable and that only certain people are allowed to approach his throne. He doesn't go opening himself up to everybody, not because he's shutting down. Everybody always tries to accuse him of being all sneaky. No, it's not. It's that he knows not everybody deserves his heart and that's why he's a king and not a page, okay? When you're rolling with the king, the king knows not everybody deserves who I am. Not, and I don't, I don't have to prove myself. And cancers have to learn this energy. Always, 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 it takes us a long time. And it usually takes us until we're older, I would say 30 and above, for us to realize we don't have to walk into every freaking room and make sure that everybody is happy. It's their job to make themselves happy and the only happy we have to worry about is us. This is swimming in the glory that is our emotions, being comfortable, feeling content, feeling happy, feeling protected. Remember, a cancer is not going to feel happy unless they feel safe. But this is the energy of, I do feel safe. You know, I got my shell on my back. I carry it with me, it goes wherever I go, but at the same time, I'm not hiding in it. I feel the water around me, I'm going with the flow, I'm not working too hard. This is that beautiful energy of a matured cancer, a cancer who knows their self-value. That's what it is. So, slow and steady wins the race. What does that mean for like 3D realities? Well, think about the tortoise and the hare. Remember that story? The tortoise was focused on what? The race. The tortoise was just focused on the race. I want to race. I want to race the race, you know, because I can do it and I believe in me. What was the hare focused on? The tortoise. So obsessed about what everybody else was doing, he lost track of his own shit. You know what I'm saying? So this is that mentality of, I'm not focused on what everybody else is doing. I'm into my own 
thing. I found my current, I found my groove, I found my vibe. Maybe you found your soul tribe, but this is also the energy of being okay, being solitary for a while. Actually, you could be feeling quite lightened. I know Pisces everywhere have been feeling really wonderful in the beginning of, you know, in the week, these weeks of quarantine because it's put natural boundaries up that is so difficult for us to create for ourselves. So this is a sense of really feeling good. And it could have been a little bit like lightening, almost lightening your burden in some ways um, for you to like sort of kind of be able to just focus on you for a while. There's a sense of not choosing your solitude or loving your solitude, but really feeling confident in it and, and feeling feeling liberated in it. Um, six plus two equals eight. So that's the card of destiny. And destiny is crowning your reading today, Cancerian. Let's get into the reading because yes, there are some cards that are definitely up in here in reverse. So I got to make sure that I read them that way. Um, here we have... <laughs> Of course, it would just like look back. Um, no, let's carry on. Um, this is also your energy. Uh, five plus two equals seven, which is the energy of creation. This is um, dung beetle. So this is our spiritual side. Dung beetle used to be the rep the Egyptian representation of the Cancerian zodiac placement. So it wasn't the crab for them; it was the dung beetle. And dung beetle, dung beetle is that energy that sort of it's that energy that bridges life and death uh, and it is magical and it is alchemical. You know, it is that energy of we are master creators. Now, upright, it says magic works through you, but in reverse, this is magic is working on you. Magic is working to you. And I, I, basically what I'm saying is this is a fucking flow. This is a blessing coming in your direction. Something is happening. Something is coming your way. It took its damn sweet time, but also so it's arriving, it's happening, it's happening slowly, but it's happening surely. Mm. Oh, be generous of spirit, feeling confident, confident about yourself. This is Leo energy. You could be getting an assist by a Leo, a Leo really helping you out, really guiding you, um, sort of to, it's coming into your life and supporting you in ways that maybe you have not expected or didn't expect. But it, it is generally the sense of self and the heart and believing in your own heart. Believing in its validity, um, not second guessing yourself. Leos don't second guess themselves. So when this energy shows up in your reading, A, it tells me something's popping off and will be happening to you by summertime. You're talking about uh, end of end of July, uh, August. That's Leo season. But it also Cancerian season. So it could be very well, it's still working on you through Cancer season, but expect something to pop off in the summertime. Good stuff is coming. Really feeling good about who you are, confident and looking to the future. Fire signs are always looking into the future. And I think that you are just future focused. And for those of you who dare to have the courage, remember, Lion is also that sense of the courage, having courage in inside himself to move forward. Um, you will de you are definitely making the right choice, making the right decision. Tend to the small things, step by step, little by little. This card has two meanings. One meaning is Shit has been building up for a long time and now it's an infestation and gotten out of control. But it also has that meaning of take one step at a time. And because of the daily reading that I did today, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's mostly that energy. This is Virgo energy, being very pedantic, but being very committed and not rushing yourself. It's not about how fast I get there. It is about the commitment to engaging in an activity every single day, even if it's just for five minutes, maybe it's for a half hour. You don't have to engage 16 hours a day, but it's the consistency that creates the current that helps to make your dreams come true. So this is a reminder. It's the small things that lead to the big things. And don't underestimate those small contributions, Cancer, because sometimes, maybe not just Cancerians, everybody, we do. We think if it's not all at once, if it's not all in, it's not happening all at once, then it's not right or it's not enough. This card is here to say it is enough. 
It is absolutely enough. And sometimes the bravest thing that you can be is something that is small. Sometimes it's those little steps forward that, you know, uh, take the most courage because it's a commitment. It's every day. You don't have to run a marathon, right? You walk a marathon. You can crawl some days. I said this in the daily reading. It's not about like the universe doesn't sit there and, and, and say, Ooh, are they running like Hussein Bolt every, uh, is that his name? I mess it up all the time. Uh, bolt every single day? No. The universe is like, are they moving in the right direction every day? Have they committed themselves to every single day, not skipping a day, praying and meditating? Every single day, exercising. Every single day, like, and you don't have to do all these things. It's like, what is your goal? And are you working on that goal every single day? And it's in the consistency that you create the current. It's not in the rush of energy or the inspiration. It's in the consistency that you create the current. And the current is what you have confidence in and what you're able to ride on now. So this is saying that what have you been working on little by little? What current have you created? Now watch out because it could backfire on your ass too. Okay? Because if you've been creating this current of BS, then you're going to end up in like a big old shit pile come July. But this is a sense of it, what have you been dedicating yourself to little by little? How have you been casting your magic and creating a current consistently? Because that's going to sort of come into fruition by the summertime. Now, Oh, I love it. You have a lot of your own energy coming out in this reading, Cancer. So either you're, this is all about you. I love it. Because it seems to be all about you. And I like it. It's like a sense of self. Instead of giving ourselves away, holding on to that precious, that preciousness. You know? Um, be loyal to what you love. Very Cancerian energy because it is unconditional love, unconditional caring, devoting your, devoting that, that energy that devotes your life to something. Now, usually it devotes your life to somebody else, but, and that's okay too, because sometimes other people can be the best, the best, like, like parents, you know, devoting yourself to a child. But this is more uh, knowing unconditionally, loving unconditionally. And for me, in conjunction to the other cards, you've committed yourself to a project, to a vocation. You've committed yourself to a path. This is more esoteric than just a relationship. This is, not that a relationship can't be a part of it, but this is more uh, a commitment to manifestation is what it is but this is your beautiful central energy which means you're very happy here you're very you you're very secure here and you're razor sharp focus in a gentle way it's like you're using your gentleness in the right way here it's perfectly balanced and on point dream the world into being this is scorpionic energy eight plus three adds up to er 11, that's awakening, awakening to your life purpose, confronting the dead, confronting the sadness, confronting the hurt, confronting the pain, and actually saying, thank you very much for that pain. Thank you very much for the suffering and being able to move on from it because not that you haven't mourned it or you haven't grieved it, but now it no longer controls you. This is a sense of ghosts of Christmas past coming back to haunt you and kind of almost in some ways direct you and help to keep you focused on where you're headed so that you know to not go back. You remember what it was to have given up before or to have failed before and you're just refusing. It's actually that experience with failure that's helping you succeed this time around. Ooh, um, here we have, oh damn, a sweet results await. This is more Leo energy, also the energy of seven. You have, this is abundance, happiness, suckling on the sweet teat of honey. But honey doesn't get just made. It doesn't just come, it's not nectar from the gods, right? It, it gets made through hard work. This is hard work and dedication. Bees stick to it. It's important to what they are. It's an important source of nutrients. It also helps to like help you with allergies and it's a homeopathic medicine type of thing. But um, all those medicinal purposes, but God bless the bees. This is like the little things matter. And this is, in other words, 
This is the sweet results of the little things. This is what happens when a bunch of little things, bees, work their butt off. They end up making honey and it's sweet and it's delicious and it's nourishing. So that's what's happening to your life. This is Leo energy. Think of this as the sun card. This is, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. This, that's what it is. It's, it's like, he's risen, y'all. He's risen. Like this is celebrate joy coming through the storm and all the hard work paying off. I'll take it. I, I will take this reading any day. Um, okay, let's move on. Michelle's getting a little crazy. Oh, Piscean energy. It's always nice to see a fellow water sign. Actually, two fellow water signs have shown up. We've seen Scorpio energy. This is Piscean energy. There's always enough. This is abundance coming into your life. Emotional abundance, but also resources. Resources of the most beautiful, wonderful kind. Almost think like... Um, Queen of Cups type of energy, abundant, beautiful, providing. You're swimming in your emotions and you're content in your emotions. You believe in your dreams and your dreams and reality are one now. That's Piscean energy. It's not like you've lost yourself in the dreams. No, no, no. You've manifested your dreams. This is things paying off emotionally, feeling really happy and really contented with what you feel. Also, as you see, the root of this reading is self-acceptance. Acceptance of one's own feelings and the true beauty that comes from, um, that, can, that, that, that can basically spring from the roots that, that are self-acceptance. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces, but this is an energy of total acceptance and happiness and abundance and even a little koi fish, somebody curious, curious and, and maybe the beginning of something new. Um, here we go. A uh, squirrel, believe in yourself. Uh, seven plus five equals 12. That's up to three. This is Virgo energy. So taking root, planting your seeds, planting for the future, planting for the fall, being smart with how you allocate your time and how you allocate your resources. So in other words, all the resources that are coming to you have come to you in divine timing, Cancerian, because you had to learn the Virgarian discipline of when you get a lot of resources, you don't spend it on a yacht and then go broke. When you get a lot of resources, you don't like, like flood somebody with all your emotions and then smother them and drown them. This is learning how to allocate your resources, making sure that you save enough for you. Hello, big time mature energy, making sure that you save enough for you and then you plant seeds for the future. This is very, very, in other words, you're planting seeds for the future. Your future is guaranteed. Believe in yourself, believe in your value and in your plan because it has validity. It, it, it will happen as long as all of these things match up. It's, it's happening, in other words, it's happening. It's almost like the energy of, it's already happening. You've learned these lessons and your plan is taking root. Reclaim your power, filling yourself back up, um, coming out of the dark. Uh, also the energy of four plus four, which is destiny. Something finally coming to fruition, something finally coming notice. It's almost like, Having taken the back seat for so long, being that portion of the puzzle or of the recipe that was missed all the time, not being given credit to, but now it's like, now it's you're coming out. You can almost, like with this card, I always feel like this cat emerging from the jungle. And at first you only see its eyes, but then you can see its full self and you better be damned um, you better be damn well humbled in its presence and genuflect because the more you see of this, this energy, the more powerful and strong it is. And this is almost like you emerging as something to be worshiped. And then this is, Ooh, transformation is beautiful. Um, but it's in reverse. Uh, it could be upright too. Uh, to be honest with you, what this is, is almost diving in. Do you see? It becomes a mermaid's tail. See, upright, it's a butterfly. 
but in reverse, it becomes a mermaid's tail. Do you see how cool it is? And it's almost like splash. It's almost like letting your mermaid out, becoming that mythical creature, becoming that thing that is coveted, becoming that thing that is chased after, sought after, becoming your dream come true. That's what it is. It's about becoming becoming what you thought, what everybody told you was impossible. Um, and, and that coming from you and the power that you always had inside of you. Click your heels, Dorothy. It was with you all along. And that's kind of like what this is. It's like you finally becoming what almost for a long time you tried to repress or suppress because you didn't think it felt fit in with everybody else, but that's the point. It didn't fit in with everybody else. It was special and it wasn't supposed to fit in. And now because you let it shine, you are able to be it out loud. This is that beautiful mermaid's tail, that sense of being able to go into another world and swim the oceans. It could also mean travel. It could also mean, it definitely means travel and it, it means it means living a dream. That's what it means. So hold on, I'm about to turn this camera around so that we can review the cards, hold on. So all I can say for this reading in general is wowie, wowie, wow, wow, wow. Because there is a sense, a strong sense of self here and self-fulfillment and things finally working out, but it's not gonna be till summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. I know I missed, I missed a few notes in there, but um, this is really the small, slow energy. And I think there's a sense of beautiful peacefulness about giving up on rushing. It's almost like the quarantine has been a blessing because it's forced you to stop rushing or feeling like you're behind, making you realize, well, everybody's behind now. So you take that stress off of you. And that when that stress comes off of you, there is a sense of, okay, I can just engage in what I love and continue to do what I love. And there's no stress. There's no need to worry. And in that freedom, you usher in a lot of abundance. By the summertime, there is wonderful, wonderful fruition, abundance, resources, and recognition coming into you right now. There is a sense of union and communion with yourself. Keep planting those seeds and keep stepping forward. Let people see that you're there. Let Don't hide in the shadows and give your energy away to everybody else. Let people see that you're there. Let people see your tail. Let people see how you are different because that is what's going to usher in this abundance. Yes, Cancerians, there is an extended reading. Let's continue this abundance and this beauty and also get into a romance. How does this, all this wonderful energy interact with romance? I will see, link is below. Link is below in the description box. I will see you guys over there.